all right guys so welcome to the tutorial today we are going to design a news feed home screen and this is just generated out of some brainstorming and here are some notes that we need to follow so the home screen should have a trending panel and some latest news section also we need to have a global category selector and the categories would be trending entertainment tech and politics so today we will be keeping it very short and very concise let's assume that we already know a little bit of figma but maybe uh, we can start off with the basics we are not going to use any sort of auto layout thing or any advanced feature of figma let's just keep this very basic and yep also if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel then please make sure that you have subscribed so let's begin so let's quickly see what we have on the table this is a simple frame so this frame is basically 375 by 812 pixels if you can see here yeah, a simple iphone screen so we have the navigation bar right, set up right here so let's just quickly see what kind of columns i am using i'm using a four count column and with a margin of 24 which is multiple of 8 and a 16 pixel gutter which is again a multiple of 8 so i like sticking to 8, 8 point grid by material design because it's fairly easier to follow and yeah there can be a little bit of breakage of the rule but let's see what we can do over here let's quickly copy and paste this over here let's first quickly create the wireframe um, First, let's start with the global category selector. Um, let's say we have again a multiple of so 70 by 24, 86 by 24. So, again, a spacing of 16 in between these two because why not let's quickly follow this again and duplicate it so this is where the category selector would come in we can again enlarge this based on our necessities but for now let's keep it this much the trending news section let's keep it to one let's keep it to 240 it's large hmm. 240 minus 30 is 208. Yeah, I guess this is fine. What's the spacing between these two? It is 18. Let's do it. 32. font size is 16 as of now let's make it a little medium this is again this is just a wireframe but maybe we change it later so this is the trending news section and again the spacing 32 now it's 16 perfect Let's keep it at 24 here. Perfect. And between this and this, so this can be used for another one. All right. So let's, let's make it a little bolder so that it emphasizes on the logged in state. Again, the spacing has to be very consistent. I guess this is 16, so let's also keep this one 16. News further, and now let's quickly short this one up. So maybe we can have tiles or grids. Because we have used the columns 
and the gutter of 16 pixels. By default, we have the 16 pixel uh, spacing between both of these. This is 141. Let's keep it to 160, or let's keep it to 156, so it stays square. Perfect. And here we are going to have some card titles. So let's keep it to 14 and. News title again. News title. Let's make it a little bolder. Let's reduce the kerning between these two and size of 12 regular and we'll just reduce the color's opacity or just make it a little lighter than normal. Maybe four. 4f4f4 four, F4, F4, F4. works yeah that is okay this is what all right let's make it a frame let's again make this one as frame and let's duplicate these One more thing that I would like to have. Let's let's pull this down. I guess we are missing something. Let's pull this down. Maybe. Let's say 120 pixel, 110. Or oh, let's keep it. Yeah, 108 sounds okay. So the icon library of my choice is basically Iconify. And we are gonna use a menu over here so a hamburger menu works first mm -hmm. all right so this one works for me so 24 by 24 is okay if you if you see i'm gonna stick it to the leftmost column because I don't want the padding to affect anything. And I will set the color to something else later on. And here we are going to have the area for let's make it 28 by 28. That's fine. And here we are going to have the area for logged in or the user. Let's see what the spacing is. It's 80. All right, so I guess this works. Right, so let's delete this one and then again copy and paste this here. Now, this is where the UI thinking would come in place. For me, I am going to use my default colors, like my personal brand colors. So here they are, and I'll quickly get them over here. Let's start by filling in the places here. Let's right um what were the categories trending entertainment okay let's see what we can do because these are just small category selectors we are going to have smaller sized fonts and Let's keep it, you know, in the middle. Let's align it to the middle and keep it to I mean, the rectangle for now. Again, yeah. Entertainment. This would be, let's say, tech. And again, this could be um, politics. 
So this just went out of frame. What we can do is quickly get it inside the frame. So we can now remove these rectangles. They are of no use. And now if you see if these uh, placeholders don't make any sense because these are all texts. So what we'll do, we are gonna make it according to the text you know, align it according to the text so we'll keep a very even spacing between them we are gonna click here and we are gonna click tidy up and again a multiple of eight i guess 32 works fine yeah it does work fine so because trending has to be selected let's make it a little bold semi bold works and let's left align them And maybe we can reduce the opacity or make these color lighter. Again, 4F works. Let's make them, let's make the width less of regular works. Okay. Just to emphasize the present selection, we can also add something else. We can add a line above it or below it. Let's see which one makes more sense. Let's make the width a little more than usual. I guess this one is better. Let's also color these in the same orange and make them a little lighter. Let's say let's make the opacity 75%. Mm, even 60% works. Yeah. Also, let's add my display picture over here for reference. Oops. If it's a vector file, always remember to first tap K and then reduce the size or else it's not gonna work. Let's make it 28 by 28. And okay, I guess that works. And let's quickly see what we can do over here. Okay, we forgot again one thing. If it's a trending news, then there has to be some sort of um, text over here. Maybe eight films that made um, Nolan cry. I don't know why. Again, the spacing has to be taken care of. It's 14 from the left. Let's make it 16, all right. And let's add some dummy text here. Chris Nolan watched some epic films that you must watch as well during I don't know when let's keep it as a lighter text let's make the spacing as 140 percent and maybe we can have one more call to action which is read more okay or else it can be Let's align this to right, continue reading. All right. Okay, let's hold these uh, rectangles and make the borders a little bit better than what they are. So 8 pixels works better and the corner smoothing I am setting it to 60%. So 
So let's quickly open up a plugin called Unsplash for some dummy images. Let's search for Nolan if there's anything. Okay, so there's this totem, but I really need okay, movie. Mm, all right, so this projector works better. Let's see how we can add it. So now you see there's some contrast issue that we have fallen into. What we will do to make it better is we'll add one more image fill, which would be a linear fill and let's have the opacity of 100%. Let's pull the darker side here and the transparent side above. Or maybe we can just add one more layer of a rectangle and fill it with white. Take it a little behind. And let's grab the picture. Let's add shadow over here. And shadow would be around 2x, 2y a blur of 16 pixels and the color has to be around 16 pixels as well so this works and i'll again make the cta to this color and instead of this let's just make a copy of it. on the side And reduce the opacity of the image yeah I guess that that now gives a hint of a scroll what we can do let's have something for space okay something for tech all right so this MacBook looks good this news would be for a food sort of news okay so let's say some healthy recipes to follow and this would be for um, sports all right so this this one looks fine since we have added the sports thing below let's change the politics into sports in Elon Musk on Mars if you see we have not made this one similar to what we have made to other ones 60 pixels 60 percent sorry okay you know in figma what you can do is you can just click these news titles and you can make you can just tap or click here on the three dots and you see this section for truncating the text you just tap here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce this. Speaks up on. All right. So, you know, basically it should be done with these, not the title actually. So you see, it's, it automatically truncates over here and so this is gonna be like new in the nutshell it actually looks like this and uh, let's quickly copy and paste the drop shadow here let's make it 
an effect style let's say card shadow and we have created this style here on the image cards we can add these as a card shadow itself you see these go hand in hand with the same thing let's see how it looks on the prototype not bad actually so yeah so you saw how we can make newsfeed app with a very basic brief that we have got maybe we can continue on this thing if you want a prototype on this thing if you want many inner pages to be designed please do comment below we can work on this and if this video helped you in any manner then please consider subscribing and sharing with your friends so until next time this is arura ganguly signing off